Okay, factor completely uh, trinomial here, right? Plus, minus. A to the sixth just has A's as factors. This also has A's, this also has A's. Select the problem before it, uh, where we finished the last video. I can factor out four A's. Right, four plus two is six here. Factor out. This is almost the exact same problem. Let's see if there are any surprises here. So, uh, perfect square, perfect square, no, 27 is not a perfect square. So I'm just going to factor this A times A. Both of these are going to have a D. Now how can I multiply to get 27, 9 times 3? All right, to get negative, opposite signs, but I want positive 6. There you go. Positive 9 AD minus 3 AD. 9 minus 3 is 6 AD. And this can't be broken down further, nor can this. So I'm done. Watch your handwriting. Uh, you don't want to get your A's and 9's mixed up. Let's say, for example, like this, a, this symbol here looks a bit like a 9. Well, if I wrote that in my answer, 9 minus 3D, wait, 9 times A, that's giving me A squared? No, I don't think so. Oh, I know, that was supposed to be an A. Now that I've changed that, I realize I forgot to close the parenthesis. How do I realize that? Because that's still red. So I have to go over here, close that up. Now everything's black, fits the format the way I like. Good job. Another fraction problem. All right, well, this one's not so bad because it's just difference of squares, right? X squared, that's X times X. Y squared, that's Y times Y. 36 is 6 squared, so that's 1 sixth Y times 1 sixth Y, difference of squares. X plus 1 sixth Y, X minus 1 sixth Y, X, here we go. X plus 1 sixth Y, X minus 1 sixth Y. Difference of squares. I don't even have to show any work here, right? S plus F, S minus F. It's basically the formula just using S and F instead of A and B. All right, uh, difference of squares again, but difference of fourths technically. So we had a problem similar to this, I think, with only one variable before. So it's difference of squares. 1 plus s squared d squared, 1 minus s squared d squared. Well, here's difference of squares. So this stays put. 1 plus sd, 1 minus sd. And again, I'm not sure why they're putting the s first. Let's fix that up. I'll put the d first. 1 plus d squared. S, not s to s, s squared. And 1 plus ds, 1 minus ds. There we go. And again, uh, we have three factors here. The order of those factors does not matter. We could have written this 1 minus ds times 1 plus d squared s squared times 1 plus ds. Right, as long as each factor is correct, you're good. Uh, same deal here. Uh, 12 is 3 times 4. So it's y to the 3rd to the 4th power. Uh, 81 is 3 to the 4th power. So 1 plus... Um, 9 y cubed a, not cubed, uh, y to the sixth, a to the sixth, right, half of 12 is 6, 
then one uh, plus three y to the third a to the third one minus three y to the third to the third Oof. well that's a mistake you don't want to make right I closed my parenthesis but I forgot to put the right arrow so I'm putting a parenthesis up in that exponent there we go so let's just double check this here uh, 3 times 3 is 9 so I'm getting 1 1 times 1 is 1 right plus minus those are going to cancel out so 1 minus 9 y to the sixth a to the sixth 1 minus 9 a to the sixth y to the sixth and then I put first 1 plus 9 a to the six, y to the sixth. So one times one is one. Uh, plus minus cancels out because it's the same numbers here. Nine times nine is eighty-one. Positive times negative, negative. Six plus six is twelve, so that's a to the twelfth, y to the twelfth. One minus eighty-one. There we go. Nice work. All right, here uh, we're going third degree, but no common factor all the way along. So we'll do factor by grouping. Minus 4s plus 64. So common factor here, s squared. s minus 16, common factor here. Uh, well, I want s minus 16 hopefully over here so let me factor out a negative 4 negative 4 times s is negative 4 negative 4 times negative 16 is positive 64 right we can check that 4 times 6 is 24 4 5 6 there we go so s minus 16 is a common factor s squared minus 4 hang on s squared minus 4 that's difference of squares. So here we get s minus 16, difference of squares. S, plus four, s squared minus 4, give me s plus 2, s minus 2. Is that what I have here? s minus 16, s plus 2, s minus 2. Okay. Oh. What did I do wrong here? Oh, goodness. So the cardinal sin here. S squared was a common factor of these. No, that's right. I was thinking I forgot my GCF out front here, but it wasn't a GCF. Uh, let's see. s times s is s squared plus 2s minus 2s cancels minus 4 so I get s squared minus 4 times s minus 16 s times s squared let's foil this out here All right so we multiply this s squared minus 2s plus 2s is 0 minus 4 alright so s times s squared is s cubed s times negative 4 is minus 4s. Negative 16 times s squared is minus 16s squared. Negative 16 times negative 4, that's positive. 16 times 4 is 64. s cubed minus 16s squared minus 4s plus 64. That's what I have here. s minus 16 s plus 2, s minus 2. Oh, I wrote this, but somehow my pen hit B. There we go. I need to select A and then type that in. Goodness, I don't know how that happened. If that happens to you, double check. No, I'm pretty sure that's right. Recognize what your mistake was. Right? It happens to all of us who make some silly mistakes. All right. Um,
common factors galore here. All right, so I've got a, b, and a 7 as my factors here. 7 doesn't go in here, but a and b do. So let's start with a, b. 6, I have three a's, so I take one out, leaves me with two. I have three b's, take one out, that leaves me with two. That's looking good. I'm probably going to have a, b, and a, b leave some space for the coefficient here. Um, 11 a squared, so a times a is a squared, b squared, so b times b is b squared, minus 7 a, b. So negative 7 times a, b. So positive 6, negative 11, negative 7, positive 6, negative 11, negative 7, good. Okay, now here we usually start with our first term, split up that leading term. But 6 is not a prime number. I don't know if this is 6ab and 1ab, or 3ab and 2ab. 7 is a prime number, so that's got to be 7 and 1. But it's a negative here, so I don't know if it's negative 7 plus 1 or plus 7 minus 1. Let's just pick one. All right. Now, this term is going to be negative. This term is going to be positive. So I want their difference, right, positive minus negative, to be negative 11. So if I do 6 and 1, that's going to give me 6ab, right, because 6 times 1 is 6ab. 7 times 1, that's minus 7ab. That gives me negative 1. I want negative 11. I need the negative to be bigger than the positive by more than 1. So I can't make the 7 any bigger. That means I need the 7 times this to be bigger. So what's bigger than 1? Maybe a 2. So let's uh, pick a different color here. Let's replace this with a 2. Oh, wait a minute. 7 times 2 is 14. No, I want that to stay a 7. I want this to be a 2, right? Negative 7 times 2 is my inner. 2 times 6 is 6. No, 2 times 3 is 6. Now let's double check. 3ab times 2ab, that's 6a squared b squared. Good. 7 times 1 is 7. Good. Outer. 3 times 1 is 3ab. 7 times 2 is 14ab. 14 is bigger than 3, so 14 minus 3 is 11. Ding, ding, ding. That's right here. So I get the 3ab minus 7, 2ab plus 1, all of that times ab. Hey, if that didn't work, I would try the 3 here and then the 2 here. If that didn't work, I would try the 6 here and the 1 here. Right? But my second guess worked out, so I'll write that in. So ab, parentheses, 3ab minus 7, 2ab plus 1. All right. So uh, 49 is a perfect square. Uh, any even power is a perfect square. So um, I have n squared squared. I have 7 squared. Hmm. This kind of is working out as a perfect square trinomial, but if I do n squared plus 7 squared, n squared times n squared, n to the fourth, plus 7n squared plus 7n squared, even if I made these negatives, I'd end up with negative 14, not negative 50. 7 and 7, 49, right? I get my n to the 4th, I get my 49, but I don't get negative 50. Well, 50 is just one more than 49. So let me switch colors. Uh, do n squared plus 49, n squared plus 1. 49 times 1 is 49. 49 n squared plus 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 1n squared, that's 50n squared. 
And since it's negative, that just means these are both negative, right? Negative 49 times negative 1 is positive. Negative 49 minus 1, negative 50. Good. Oh, but n squared minus 49, that's difference of squares. As soon as I clicked away, it clicked. This is now difference of squares. This is actually difference of squares as well. Wow, they're really trying to catch us here. n squared minus 49. There's my n plus 7, n minus 7. n squared minus 1, there's my n plus 1, n minus 1. Right? We need to recognize those difference of squares. So n plus 7, n minus 7. n plus 1, n minus 1. All right, this is one of those rare times where all four factors of this fourth degree uh, are noticeable through regular factoring techniques. Eventually, you'll learn how to get all the factors, even when they don't work out nicely. But that might require imaginary numbers, and we're not there yet. All right, uh, almost done here. s to the fourth, that's s squared squared minus 8s squared plus 16, that's 4 squared. So does this work out? S squared, well, that's minus, so S squared minus 4 uh, squared. Well, 4 times S squared is 4S squared. Double that, we get 8S squared. There we go. Now, I'm going to write this out the long way, which I hope you'll recognize why. S squared minus 4 is difference of squares. So that's not x. S uh, plus 2, S minus 2, right? Because 2 squared is 4. This is S plus 2, S minus 2. So I have S plus 2 twice, S minus 2 twice. So uh, S plus 2. You can just write all 4. Um, but I like being fancy when I can here. There we go. All right, now this one, what in the world is going on here? x cubed plus 16 squared minus 16x squared plus 16x. Well, x is not a common factor for all of these. Why are they putting this in parentheses? I think they're looking for a difference of cubes kind of problem. Um, maybe they just want you to factor by grouping. Oh, we're running short on time. Let's uh, go on to one more video here.